Hi again. So now we are going to look at a care manager and what the care manager is going to do uh, for the same patient. So again, we're showing you the connection. As you can see here, here's my patient list that I'm working on. And I want to go ahead and look at my tracking for patient M. And if you notice, my goals are slightly different than what that patient actually had recorded. And this is very important. Uh, I did not point this out before, but you are able to go backwards. You obviously can't go forward in time. And now you can kind of see one of the things about, look at this view of this care manager who is tracking for the same patient. And this care manager has a completely different perception of what's going on. So this is why it's very important, particularly for a clinician to be able to really see what does the patient think what's going on and what does my care manager really think. So that's a, a wealth of information that we can give to you to give to the provider. So again, it's the same concept of how do you track? Well, if the patient was with me or if I was on a telehealth call, then I can just go ahead and slide it up and I'll just slide these randomly just so we can go through that and I'll do it oh, just gibberish over here. I didn't have any trouble sleeping and I am having some balance issues. And this is also important because the care manager is tracking a different variable that is of importance than what the patient is tracking. So again, this allows for that uniqueness and customization at every panel, at every point, excuse me. So limited or social engagement. And I have no idea what I tracked before. And now we go into the triggers. And I'm just going to pick a few of them randomly just for the purposes of showing you what's going on. Same thing. You get to go ahead and add notes throughout the day. Same thing if I wanted to add more symptoms. Um, what I wanted to show over here is I will switch patients. I can refer a patient to another provider. So it would take me back to this person over here. And I would say, okay, I want to refer this patient. Who am I going to send it to? And again, this is just a made up email address and there it goes. Now that person is not found and it's not a real one. So they're not in our system, but I can actually send an invitation. So this is how we're able to verify, did this person already exist? And if it doesn't, we send an invitation. So by sending the invitation, we're able to have that person be brought into the system. So it takes me back to the patient because I haven't logged out, but here's that healthcare provider button that has auto-populated. Now I can invite them to the system. So it's tt at tt.com and you send the invitation and off it goes. Same dark mode, which I did not have it um, identified before, but down here is where you see you have a different status for these patients. I'm going to minimize the screen a little so you can see more. No, I guess it did not minimize. So let me scroll down. Same edit for your notifications. Here's my messages that are coming in. So let's see. I have a message for my provider test. And this is just a testing of hi. I'm going to mark it as red. And I'm going to also send provider a message. And I'm going to say patient M is not doing well. Can we bring him in? I can't remember what the gender is, so I'm just leaving it as him. And then I go back to my selection. I'm going to go back to my dashboard. Again, very intuitive, very simple, very straightforward. The same detailed reports are available that we saw before. Now you can see that my send and receive messages have turned red. I don't have any more. Now I'm receiving patient messages and I'm receiving severity alerts. So when I was tracking, if you recall, um, we already tracked, but when that patient's alerts were increasing by 10% or more, I get an alert in my email that is attached to this account. Um, I can turn these off. I don't want to receive any more alerts either. But if you recall, on the registration page, that's where the provider, the care manager, selected, yes, I will receive these. But again, we give them as many options as we give patients. Um, I need to move this for just a second because right now this is an active patient, but we have them as a referred patient. So I can refer them and you can see that you can still see their information, but now my status is just referred or released. And again, if it's released, you cannot track, 
but you can look as you can see right here. Okay. Now, the reason that that's an important distinction is because what we learned in the sports concussion clinics is that the patients are going to have to be released in order to go back to return to play. And if they come back in, they create a new account, meaning a new case, but they themselves do not have to be re-entered. So um, again, a very nice feature to work within the flow of the clinic. So you can still see that you're able to see the reports, even though the patient has been referred. And you can just repeat this over and over again with all of your patients. And that's it. That's how simple it is for a care manager. I'm going to log out and I'm going to log back in now as a provider. So as a provider here, I log in. You can see I've got a variety of patients caregivers that have attached to me and care managers. And this same look as a care manager has patients and also providers. We're going to have this view available for them um, from over on the patient list. So my apologies. So over here, I'm looking at the patient's tracking, not the caregiver. And again, the same view, the same detailed reports. I do have messages. This one is right here to the patient. Can I do a telehealth call instead, which is the one that we sent? I'm going to mark it as red and I'm going to send a message back to my patient test. I close it. Sorry, send message to patient test. And yes, I'll have care manager schedule it. And I hit send and I close and I go right back to my dashboard. And again, it's that simple. Uh, we can access by turning messages on or off. So you can see that it was green. So I do have more messages. I am receiving patient messages, but if I don't want to receive them anymore, I can stop. I turn that off and we basically just do it for all of our patients and we keep switching. Jack M is not a compliant patient. As you can see, he has a lot of problems, but he hasn't been tracking. So it just gives you the idea of how we're able to manage uh, the patients between office visits. All right, I'm gonna stop sharing. Thank you.